there, put the, there being the place, right? Put there maybe at the end. Most, it was mostly men. There. There, it was mostly men or something like that. Mostly there were men. You don't want to attach the word there and were directly. That's not the uh, subject of the verb. You can, there's other ways you could say it. Uh, I've, I went to the jujitsu place and there weren't many women <laughs> there. Something like that. There's many ways to say it, but you don't want to say mostly there were men. The order is a little bit strange. Another easy one. Never win somebody bigger than me. Never beat. Make sure you don't confuse the word win and beat. Uh, you said he trained by marathon. If you say he trained by, it sounds like the method of training. He trained uh, by lifting weights. He trained by he trained for the marathon. I think he trained for the marathon. He was a marathon runner, right? I'm training for. A marathon. I'm training for the Olympics. I'm training for something. What is the reason you're training? You said pushed, pushed, pronunciation-wise, and you said I'm really happy with the numbers. It just uh, sounds a little bit. Hmm. I don't know how to say. It. I'm really happy with the numbers. It sounds like the numbers are people, and you're hanging out together. Uh, I enjoy. I enjoy numbers. I enjoy working with numbers. Something like that. Was it crunching numbers? I enjoy crunching numbers. I was crunching numbers. Oh, I'm just asking, is it okay to express I like the work with numbers? Crunching numbers sounds like you're uh, getting work done and you're really trying to find the answer like that. Working hard, crunching. Unyong, they are care about. You don't need the word are. They care about. Make more business in China market is fine. It sounds more, a little bit more better if you say uh, expand. Expand our Chinese market. You said I did or I had a second major. You would say I did a double major. I had a double major. They put some... Yeah, both of them. I had a double major. I did a double major. You can say second major. My major, my first major was finance. My second major was. They put so many money, so much money, and employee dis doesn't satisfied, isn't or wasn't satisfied, not doesn't. And Ted, how good the corporates, cor the corporates. I think you mean corporations instead of corporates. Corporations. Corporation. Corporation. Yeah. Corporate is an adjective. Corporate advertising. Corporate salary. You said promising, promising, pronunciation wise. And you said really big wealth. It's just a little awkward to say that. A lot of money, so much wealth. Not really big wealth. It's just never really phrased like that. Minji, I tried to go yoga class. Go to. Make sure you remember the word to, to, to. I'm experienced the weight training. Maybe say I'm experienced with weight training. I have experience with. Yeah. Instead of saying I have experienced weight training. You could say, I have experienced weight training, but that makes it sound like it was just something that you tried once or twice. So I'm experienced, meaning you've done it a lot. I'm experienced with weight training. If I have a chance, I, you were talking about the major. If I have a chance, I will choose. No, you want to um, put it in the hypothetical. If I had a chance, I would choose. This is something that... Uh, probably isn't going to happen. I would. It's hypothetical. If I had a chance, I would have or I would choose. I would or have. I would. I would. I would. Mm -hmm. And you said choose a major related engineering. Related to. Related. Oh, you're always going to, yeah. 
again, the word too, related to engineering, related to him, related to this, that, related to. Any questions? Nope.